Hello, I just wanted to really quickly show the best settings for KOG. Uh, make sure to send this video to your friends that play the game, because it will help a lot. Uh, first thing you need, I actually made a notepad, so if you don't want to watch, you can you can just look at this. First thing you need is anti-ping. Uh, what it does is, you have it here in the settings, you go to ddnet, you need this on. If you have it off, as you can see, it's like, it's delaying my hook on the other T by 80 sec uh, milliseconds. You can see in the top right, I'm going to be explaining that later. But it's delaying the hook, and if you turn it on, just make sure all of them are on. It completely negates the lag, so it's like instant, you need this on. The next thing is prediction margin. There is a command, if you press F1, it shows the console. You type cl underscore prediction underscore margin, like this. And if you type it in, it's going to show how much you have it on. This pretty much adds onto your ping, so if I set it to zero, it's gonna my ping is gonna lower to like it's gonna be 40 less than what I had. And pretty much what it does is I actually don't know how to explain it, but if I have it on zero, you can see very clearly I'm lagging. But now if I increase it, it's it the lag is gone. So you just need to find the number that makes you not lag and also makes the game playable because if you have it too high if i said to like 300 you can see how laggy the other people are so just make sure it's i think 40 is like a good good setting to have so yeah and also if you want to see if it's you lagging or the server there's this link called packetlosttest.com if you just run it just make sure you set like a good server like next to you you can start the test. It's gonna run for 10 seconds. And here you can see if it's you lagging or if it's the server in KOG. So as you can see, it's gonna be 0%. So this means I'm not lagging, I'm not dropping any packets. So if I lag, it will be the server, but I'm not lagging. So the server is good and my internet is good right now. So yeah, that's the second tip. Next one is fast input. Now you might not know what this is because this actually came out pretty recently. Uh, I actually went to check in the KOG Discord. If you type in fast input, there's only five recent messages like from this month about fast input. So I don't think many people know what this is. As you can see, Miv and like a couple more people use it. So like all the decent players use it. So what it is, is if you download T client, Tater client, I will be showing how to get it later. Uh, you have this option called fast input. Uh, I don't, I actually don't know how, like, I cannot explain it, how it works, but it's so good. You'll have to see for your own, like, just download it and see how it works. It's going to feel so much cleaner. The game feels more responsive. It feels like you're, like, not lagging at all. So just... Just try it, trust me. Try it and use these two options. I don't think this one does anything. I actually don't see the difference, but it says it does, so I trust him, not gonna lie. So yeah, that's the third tip. Next one is use entities. This is really basic. If you go to your settings, if you go to controls, you have this thing show, uh, called show entities. What it does is it just shows the map. <clears throat> like the map without the entities and with so you can like focus on the game more easily it can be distracting if you try to play the game and it's like so dark or if it's like sometimes you might confuse blocks with unhook like you wouldn't know if this is unhook or hook unless you hook it if it makes sense so if you use entities it just shows it right away they just use entities Next thing is spec bind. So it's pretty much this one. If you type it in, again, press F1 to show the, uh, the console. If you put it on any key, and now I said to you, so now if I press U, I'm gonna disappear and I'm not blocking the way and I can spectate the map. So this is really useful when you die in like a tough spot and you want people to pass through, just, just use it. 
don't be a blocker. You need this bit. You need this bind. Okay. Next thing is uh, full screen on. If you go to the graphics settings, you need to have this option of full screen. I only have it on windowed borderless because I'm recording right now and it's easier. But full screen basically it allocates more of your PC resources onto the game. So you will lag very slightly less, but it, it is actually, it does help. It might not be noticeable, but it does help. So just use it. It's just really good. And now for the less important tips. Uh, first one, invisible extra assets. So like a year ago, they added this thing to assets called extras. And if you have it on default and you die, you can see these like snow particles like flowing from you and if there's a, like a lot of people dead in one spot it can get really messy and you can't really see what's going on so i just recommend replacing it with like an empty file if you want like because now if i die it's not gonna show the snow so if you want this i made the server if you really <laughs> just want to download the invisible snow you can just open the link download the image and just put it right here <clears throat> okay that's it the next tip zoom in and zoom out if you go to controls again you have this thing called zoom in zoom out and default zoom so what it does is you just set it to a key like you click on it set it to a key and you can zoom out so you can see like what's happening this is especially useful in like team zero because sometimes you, you like you can see if you have to go back or if you have to like if you can go forward it just helps to zoom out or like if you're playing an easy map you can't really see because you're going super fast so you can just zoom out then press the default zoom key to like go back it's not that important but i just recommend using it and the last tip i have is lower the nameplate size uh this is pretty much also like a cosmetic. This doesn't do anything, but if you go to appearance and nameplate, uh, I'm pretty sure the default value is 50. So you can see the nameplates are really big. If you go to like a spot, you can see how like bad it gets and it's just three people. You already like cannot see who you're saving. So if you, if you lower it to like 20 or like 15, it helps a lot. It's less blocky and you know who you're saving. So yeah, it's just really good. And now for the last thing, uh, how to, uh, the thing in top right, you see the 80, that's my ping. Uh, Cause my ping right now is 40, but my prediction margin that I said before is 40 as well. So it add, adds up to 80. So that's my actual ping. My actual ping is 80, not 40 because of the prediction margin. And if you want to see the top right thing, it's just useful to see. Uh, you have to type in cl underscore show pred one, and then it shows. Okay, and then the last thing I wanted to show is how to actually get Tater client. So assuming you have the game on Steam, you just open the game, <clears throat> right click it, properties, you go into installed files, browse, and then you have this folder right here. So what you want to do is um, you go to this uh, GitHub page by Tater, the guy who made the Tater client. You just download the, the newest, the newest one that came out and you just straight up like delete this one and replace it. But just, okay, fuck off. Just make sure it's it makes like no space in between the just make sure the name is correct so ddnet.exe it might show that it's a virus but it's not if you don't trust uh if you like think it's a virus you can just have the source code you, like you can go through it you can see it's safe uh, i'm not gonna do that though so yeah and also uh if you lag here the way you can fix it is just make sure you are connected to your internet through a cable so like an ethernet cable uh you should i mean most likely you might have 
uh, a cable like this plugged into the back of your PC. Uh, if you don't want to check, you can also look here. You can see this like uh, monitor here with like a cable in my top, uh, I mean bottom right. That shows I'm connected to the internet through a cable and not Wi-Fi or like internet by shared by my phone, so like mobile hotspot. So just make sure if you can try to connect to the internet through a cable because it's the most consistent. Okay, that's it. Bye.